There's another board? Damn. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I know it's been ages since I did my last Sabrina video, I can only apologise for that but I'm finally ready to do another one. I have my little Salem, I've upgraded my DVDs to the actual box set and it's finally time to talk about Sabrina and the Pirates. So first let's start off with a few quotes. I also just have to say first of all, for the benefit of YouTube, I do not own any of the copyrights to any clips featured in this video. What would the most powerful woman in the household have for breakfast? I know, ice cream. All my toys have developed an unfortunate patina of spit. Uh-oh, spaghettios. I just like saying manure. So there are three main elements to this episode that I particularly like. We have the pirates, we have the fake ID, and we have the family secret. And we don't make any real progression with the family secret, but we do have all the uh, elements coming together on the board, which I think just kind of sets us up for the next few episodes, because we are getting a little bit closer to solving the family secret. I think at this stage anybody who could work out what it is from those pieces on the board is a genius. Um, I can't remember when I worked it out as a child, I probably didn't until it was revealed to be honest. Um, it's very cleverly done. Well, I just think it's nice that we're making progression without making it all about that. Then we have the pirates. Who doesn't love a good pirate? I'm quite a fan of pirates. I used to hate them as a child so I probably didn't like this episode when I first watched it but now I love pirates. Uh, I think the characters are great. We have, you know, teaching children of etiquette. Because obviously Sabrina, although a family show, is marketed more so to kids, at least it was in the UK. So obviously there have got to be lessons in there. Teaching the pirates etiquette and manners is a way of doing it to teach children while, you know, not making it seem like they're being given a lesson or a lecture or anything. And pirates are always fun, so that element I do particularly really enjoy. And then we have the fake IDs, which again is baked right through with morals. Don't get fake IDs, don't pretend to be older than you are, don't try and get into concerts. A little bit of an odd one, to be honest, because... The target audience for this, again in the UK, I believe it was marketed slightly different in America, which of course is you know where the show was made. But for the British audience, a little bit younger audience, not really going to be bordering on that age of getting fake IDs yet. <laughs> not like they should ever, but still very good. You have the inclusion of NSYNC. For me personally, not that exciting. I've never been that bothered about NSYNC. I've, I've never really been a boy band kind of person. I always preferred girl bands when I was younger. Nowadays it's more solo artists. but. You know, massive names, very good for this show, very good for raising the show's profile to a new audience. And the music's good, which is always nice. You know, a lot of this episode focuses on responsibilities, Sabrina's responsibilities, Salem's responsibilities for fixing the family secret board that he broke, which is a massive shame, but you can kind of see what was going to happen at the end. Uh, but it's a fantastic story, and I really, really like this one quite a lot. I must confess, most of the humour from the script in this comes from Salem. I know that more often than not, that's the case. But it's absolutely 100% with this one. Most of my favourite quotes come from Salem. Most of the memorable quotes are actually in this episode. There's a lot in this that I kind of say on a daily basis because you know, when you watch Sabrina so frequently, the script kind of becomes ingrained in the back of your head that you're doing it consciously. And a lot of that comes from Salem, and a lot of that comes from Salem in this episode. I do think that he really shines very brightly. He is the star of this episode for me. I cannot complain about this episode. As I said, I wasn't really bothered about pirates when I was younger, kind of was scared of them. So I probably didn't really like this episode that much then. But nowadays, I think it's great. Costume is great. Costume for the pirates. I have a bit of an obsession with Beth Broderick's hair in this episode. Uh, she has various different styles, which I just absolutely love. Could have had a bit more Harvey in this episode. You know, Harvey could have gone to the concert. But I guess it's nice to kind of step back from Nate Richards so when he's in it more we appreciate it more I guess that's the silver lining of not having enough Harvey. So do let me know in the comments what you think of this episode whether or not you loved it I'd love to know what you think and what your favourite elements were and also what your favourite quotes are. A lot of people when I talk to them about their favourite quotes we have different opinions sometimes which is always really fascinating it you know it kind of shows how the show affects different people in different ways. Let me know your thoughts and also let me know how frequently you'd like me to do these. If I don't do them enough for your like them, probe me, prod me, push me to do more because I do enjoy them. I just kind of forget to prioritise them. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Gotta go.